Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for coming out on this warm, sunny day here in St. Pete. You know, this is just another day, even though it's a little cloudy, the sun is always shining on this great city, and uh, I'm very happy to be here with you all today. Uh, I'd like to uh, first recognize and introduce uh, John Stanton, owner of Lima Construction, the city's solar systems contractor. Uh, John's over here. Lima is a city contractor and uh, having recently graduated from being, please join me, okay. a small business enterprise due to their company's growth uh, in staff and in revenues and we're thrilled to hear that. We love uh, businesses that that incubate and grow here and, and uh, become even bigger and, and are still here in St. Pete, which is a great thing. Um, also like to introduce, Jim, come on up here please. Jim Jondro from AquaCal. AquaCal is another company that is headquartered here in St. Pete and is the largest geothermal provider in the state and one of the largest in the country. And also with us today uh, is Brian Eichler. Brian, come on up here, please. Brian is a city staffer in the Engineering and Capital Improvements Department. Uh, and uh, in my mind, Brian's a star because we want to recognize Brian for bringing forward uh, the innovative filtering system replacement. Um, and recognizing Brian, I think it's really important that uh, we recognize him because we want all city employees to know that their ideas of innovation towards sustainability is, is, is key and fundamental to my administration. Uh, and it's one of the things that, that I've said right from the beginning is we want city staffers to be innovative and creative and Brian's a great example of that and we're thrilled to have him as part of a team. And lastly, I'd like to introduce Mike Connors. Uh, aside from being uh, our city uh, administrator of public works, uh, Mike is our director of sustainability and green initiatives. Um, green initiatives and sustainability is something that is extremely important to us here in St. Petersburg. Uh, and we felt it was fitting to have someone in that position who lives and breathes it uh, and uh, is passionate about it. And I can't think of anyone better than Mike Connors to fill that role. And this administration's creation of the city's first Office of Sustainability and Green Initiatives serves to launch as a commitment of enhancing St. Petersburg capacity to endure. Another one of the many city projects in advancing sustainability is about to unfold right here at the North Shore Swim Complex. This project involves a rather unique mix of renewable energies involving solar and groundwater, combined with more conventional means of energy cons conservation as supplemented by innovative technology. And what better place to implement such a project than at one of the most utilized, recognized, and respected aquatic facilities in this region? And how fitting is it that we're doing this on a day that's a little chilly? With this project, the water is not. And with that, I'd like to introduce Mike Connors to make a few comments. Mike? Thank you, Mayor. Uh, welcome again. Good afternoon. Uh, I'd like to recognize Raul Quintana. He's our city architect that will be managing this multitude of different green initiatives, all designed to improve the planet and our fine city of St. Petersburg. And as indicated, uh, we are going forward with a project that will extract energy from the sun and the underwater aquifer, more typically referred to as renewable energy due to the limitless supply of same. And to replace this pool filtration equipment with state-of-the-art technology that provides conservation of electricity, water, and chemicals. The North Shore Pool Complex will be our 20th such location for the city's solar parks initiative. Over the next several weeks, photovoltaic solar panel modules will be installed on the roof of the pump house building, as depicted in this illustration to Raul's right that was installed on the Walter Fuller Complex about a year ago. The modules will consist of a thin amorphous film, as illustrated, and will provide a silicone-based product that allows it to be easily uh, adhered to a flat building roof absent any uh, penetrations or disruption to the roof membrane itself. Uh, the system is complete with sensors, controls, inverter, and transmission to a D Department of Energy website and educational kiosk that we have installed at three or four different rec centers in order to help bring our youth along in sustainable energies such as sun and now water. The solar part of the project will cost $140,000 with monies derived from a federal grant via the Department of Energy. The geothermal system will replace 10 air-cooled heat pumps to both heat and cool the pool water. Geothermal systems rely on relatively constant temperatures below ground that, that can 
provide energy to heat or to cool. The four picture illustration further to Raoul's right uh, reflects common systems available for both residential and commercial applications that include both open and closed loop systems. The North, Pool, Nor, uh, North Shore Pool Complex will involve two deep wells. One will be an extraction well about three to four hundred feet below grade and the other one will be a return well. And these will cool a refrigerant that heats or cools the pool water that is then returned to the aquifer. So there is no net water extracted from the drinking water aquifer. It's only returned at a slightly higher temperature. A closer view of the system shows that the source of water in and returned uh, will then co uh, exchange with a heat exchanger. In other words, the water gets warm via a heat exchanger that then interacts with the refrigerant. Since our groundwater is constantly at 75 degrees and the pool water is thermostatically controlled at 82 degrees, that seven degree differential is the energy we're extracting from our groundwater. The geothermal system is estimated to cost $250,000 with monies derived from Pinellas for Pinellas sales tax and work is expected to be completed by September of this year. The final aspect of this project involves the replacement of the full pool filtration systems. Pumps will be replaced with high efficiency units, complete with variable speed drives, and the pool filters are to be replaced with relatively new technology that employs a regenerative media internal to the vessel and automatically removes the solids built up when you filter slash cleanse the pool water. The system's benefits provide savings in water, electricity, chemicals, and power due to reducing the back flushing frequency to a fraction of the current. Project cost is $100,000 with completion by September of this year. And with that, if there's any concluding remarks by the mayor. Thank you, Mike. <coughs> Myself, my deputy mayor, Kanika Tomlin, I see Carl Nurse here from the council. All of us in the city, Mike Connors, and all the city employees, we are committed to moving forward in a green and sustainable fashion. Uh, and it's always nice when we put these projects in place, we also uh, incur savings. Uh, so we encourage the community to do likewise. There are savings that you can incur when you go green. Uh, and we'd love to see the city get even greener.